by Shivam's dad, Kama, and his mother, Kamala. So all three members of the family are in the winner's circle, along with uh, lots of well wishes. The trainer here is uh, Derek Mosca, his 28th win of the season. So he's also having a fine season, has a far smaller stable than John O'Brien, but he's uh, keeping within striking distance of John O'Brien all the time. Wooden Len, winner of race number six. There's nothing quite like being made to feel special. Like you're the top of someone else's personal hit parade. That's how First Citizens wants each and every customer to feel. Whether it's through innovative products and services, new technologies, or a simple smile. We're always thinking about ways to make your day better and your life a little easier. First Citizens, we put you first. Nestled on the spice-scented shores of Grenada's Grand Anse Beach, your next perfect getaway, the Spice Island Beach Resort. This family-run 64-suite boutique resort is set on 1,600 feet of white sand beach, captivatingly framed by the ideally located sea grape suites, designed with breezy patios facing the ocean. Or, you can cool off in a private pool suite, tucked away with your own terraced gardens and personal swimming pool. All our suites are fitted with custom furnishings, fine Italian linen, and luxurious amenities. Rejuvenate the body in the 5,000 square foot Janissa Spa under the restorative powers of local herbs and spices. And at the Spice Island Beach Resort, you can savor our international cuisine infused with authentic local and Creole specialties. Experience the wonder of the Caribbean at Grenada's Spice Island Beach Resort. Visit us at www.spiceislandbeachresort.com. The Spice Island Beach Resort, your next perfect getaway. Together, these are high-class performers that set the standard for fuel efficiency vehicles. At Toyota, we revolutionize the way you drive, whether it's on or off the road. Designed with intelligent safety features, the world-class Toyota Land Cruiser Prado and Hilux mark a new era in luxury vehicles. Together, they're two of a kind. Toyota, moving forward. The Winner's Circle, and in this edition, you're watching all the highlights of race day 24 of the 2013 season. We're up to race number seven today, which is the feature event, 1,200 meters, horses rated 100 to 70 and a field of seven. Let's go for the call. Ready? Racing. Slow to leave was go for the gold. Well away was Smart American in between runners. Lone Shark is also showing good speed. Here's the favorite, Crime of Passion, into second spot. Just ahead of Rewards in Heaven. Lone Shark is now back in fourth. Then comes one for the road. Then three lengths back to Silver Leo. And a further five back to go for the gold. That's the feel as they move up the back stretch, making their way to the 800 meter marker. Smart American against the fence leads by a half length. In second spot is Crime of Passion. The favorite is traveling well in second, back in third is Lone Shark. Then two and a half lengths back to the other one, Rewards in Heaven, who is losing touch. Sneaking up on the inside now is one for the road. Silver Leo needs to do more as go for the goal is starting to find his best stride, but he has about a dozen lengths to find. Here is Crime of Passion comes calling for that top spot. Smart American on the inside. Crime of Passion, Smart American, the top two. Then comes Lone Shark is in third and a long way back to the fourth horse. That's one for the road. 200 meters out and he couldn't be going much easier. That's Crime of passion crime of passion comes to the hundred meter marker and is, has tried it right away from his field crime of passion all alone at the end wins and wins on challenge in second spot a smart american small wonder this horse uh, went off at odds of one to nine in other words one dollar and fifteen cents to win for crime of passion now two wins or three wins and four starts Smart American second, Lone Shark third, and one for the road finished in fourth spot. This one ridden by Brian Boudram Singh, and this is his 30th win for the season. So he now is on level terms with uh, Emil Ramsamy, who rode for just part of the season and went back to Canada. But uh, Brian Boudram Singh, the defending champion jockey, seems now set to be on his way. John O'Brien is in the parade ring, uh, or the winner's circle. I keep saying parade ring, but the winner's circle along with a couple of other people connected with the 
stable. But Crime of Passion, no doubt about this horse and its ability. I think he's creating some excitement in racing circles now. The final event today is 1,250 meters for Locked horses away. rated 55 to 40. Race number eight, the last one on race day 24. Ready? Racing. Slowest to leave was uh, back on top, as well as Stable Made, believe it or not. And uh, the other one that uh, came out slowly was Captive Witness. Asia is the one who takes them along as they move past the 1100 meter marker. Asia leads by a length in second spot on the far side is Task Material. Against the fence is Peppermint. Naughty and Nice is also smack bang in contention as they move up the back stretch. Racing in five at this time is Precise Movement, then comes Gold Dust. After Gold Dust is Direct Injection, then comes Convoy, who is racing mid-pack at this time in front of, uh, believe it or not, then comes back on top, the back two being Gold Bead and Captive Witness. That's the feel as they reach the far turn, and Asia leads by two and a half lengths, and she is doing this well. In second spot is Peppermint, the favorite Naughty and Nice on the far side in the red cap. That's the one in third. Then comes Classic Material. This one needs to find more the inside and fourth. After that one is precise moment. They turn into the home stretch with 300 meters to travel. And AJ is the one who is still the catch. AJ leads by three lengths. Peppermint is coming toward him. Peppermint is in second. Back in third is precise moment. Running on from a long ways. Believe it or not, they have just about 150 meters to go. And Peppermint kicks into the lead now. Bootram Singh is looking good for another victory. Peppermint scores in the finale from a flying. Believe it or not, back in third. I remember in its previous start, this horse was discounted by the tipsters, but won it comfortably. And I was wondering, because this horse really does have some tremendous ability, well now two wins in its last two starts, and still, uh, doubted by many, came back at 13 to 1. Believe it or not, was second, Asia third, and precise moment finished in the fourth spot. Uh, doing the lead in, Mr. Balkrishan Maraj, and with him, I recognize uh, Zanin Mayor John, I believe it is, on the inside of the horse. Uh, Balkrishan, of course, his wife is the owner, Roma Sagan Maraj. John O'Brien, the trainer, and this is the fourth win in eight races today for Brian Budram Singh, so he's been very much the star of the day, winning four times, and now he's atop of the jockey standings at 31 wins. This uh, filly is, of course, a Jamaican bred, won it in 118.1. Hope you've enjoyed all eight races on race day 24. I'm Tony Harvard. We'll be, of course, anxiously waiting the next race day, which is next weekend. And, of course, we'll be here to cover all the races on the winner's circle. Thank you for viewing.